this is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those of you who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, look for the Teachable Moments that are all around you. Enjoy. This is your host, April. So I wanted to come on here and talk about something that I just saw this morning. Um, But I went back this evening to look at and try to find it um, online again. And I guess this happened recently. And it's regarding, I think, a former Mississippi House candidate. Um, that was charged with um, defacing or damaging or destroying um, a satanic temple display um, that was um, in the Iowa Capitol. So one of the sources that I found online was from APnews.com and it was updated December 15th, 2023 and it was published by Scott Meck. Bidridge and Jim Salter. It says Des Moines, Iowa, um, a satanic temple display inside the Iowa Capitol in Des Moines was destroyed, and a former U.S. Navy fighter pilot who was uh, recently defeated in a state house election in Mississippi is accused of causing the damage. It says the display is permitted by rules that govern religious installations inside the Capitol, but has drawn criticism for many conservatives, including presidential candidate Ron DeSantis. A Facebook posting by the Satanic Temple on Thursday said the display, known as a Baphomet uh, statue, was destroyed beyond repair, Um, though part of it still remains, okay? It um, names Michael Cassidy, 35, of Lauderdale, uh, Mississippi, was charged with fourth, ooh, fourth degree criminal mischief. Um, the Iowa Department of Public Safety said Friday he was released after his arrest. Now, Cassidy is a Republican who was defeated by Democrat Keith Jackson and the Mississippi State House District 45 in November. Okay, let me go down. It says that Cassidy's campaign website remains active, and the biography on it says he served as a Navy fighter pilot and a pilot instructor. He describes himself as a Christian conservative who loves our nation, okay, and is committed to preserving the blessings of liberty bestowed upon us by the founding generation. Now, in 2022, Cassidy ran against incumbent U.S. Rep. Michael Guest and lost in a primary runoff after fewer than 300 votes separated them in the primary. Now, the Guest won, Michael Guest, won the runoff with uh, nearly 70% of the vote. Now, it goes on to say that messages left Friday with Cassidy and with the Satanic Temple were not immediately returned. On Friday, part of the display remained at the site in the Capitol, and a lone man who declined to give his name sat in front of the display and recited Christian prayers, making references to Jesus. It wasn't immediately clear if he was a supporter or a detractor of the Satanic Temple. It says the display is on the east side of the Capitol beside a column and an ornate staircase. It is about 100 feet from a Christmas tree displayed in the rotunda. Now, founded in 2013, the Salem, Massachusetts-based Satanic Temple doesn't believe in Satan, but they do describe itself as a non-thesic religious organization. Okay, that advocates for secularism. It is separate from the Church of Satan, which was founded in the 1960s. The display caught Cassidy's attention earlier this week, and on Tuesday he reposted a message on X, formerly known as Twitter, that included two photos. 
one of a Thomas Jefferson statue, okay, being removed from an unspecified location, and the other picture that he posted was one of the Satanic Temple display. We have reached the point where our capitals are removing Thomas Jefferson, while monuments to Satan are erected, the message read on X. A fund was set up to raise money for Cassidy's legal defense following his arrest. Now, after $20,000 was raised, Cassidy wrote on X that the fundraising was halted. Okay, But late Friday morning, Cassidy wrote that he had been notified of more potential legal charges, unfortunately, so I've opened the legal fund donation back up. The Polk County Attorney's Office declined comment on this. Now, DeSantis, the Florida governor who frequently campaigns in Iowa ahead of next month's caucuses, said Tuesday that former uh, President Donald Trump's administration was partly to blame for the existence of this particular display, Uh, the Des Moines Register reported. Trump was president in 2019 when the Eternal uh, Revenue Service aka the IRS, determined that the Satanic Temple should be designated a church. Now, polls show that Trump, with a wide lead over DeSantis and other Republicans running for president, okay? And then they also make another um, uh, uh, reference to this particular story and some type of correction, saying this story has been corrected to show that Michael Cassidy was recently defeated in a state house election in Mississippi and is not currently a candidate, okay? So, one of the things, uh, well, about this, uh, why I'm reading this uh, to you from online and why this is of interest is because, of course, um, the content, okay? The, in, the other interesting part about this is that the fact that when I saw it on YouTube this morning, they showed, I think it was on the YouTube channel, um, The Young Turks, I believe that's what they're called. Let me double check. Sometimes I watch The Young Turks and sometimes I watch uh, The Hill. Now on The Young Turks, they said, you know, talked about it. And I, that was the first I heard of it. I didn't know that that had happened. And then what happened next, they gave their commentary. Each person gave their commentary on it. And they said some very interesting things. And first and foremost, I don't believe in, you know, defamation and, and vandalism and, and other stuff like that. Destruction to any type of... um um, public property. Okay. But, um, the things that, that they said about the, the gentleman in question and the Cassidy guy for Mississippi, I, I don't know. I actually, I do know. I, it's something that is very common And I know, and when I say that common, meaning everyone kind of rallying behind certain things and not really being, I know, honest about it. Everyone that thought it was hilarious, all three men on the, on the panel of this particular show, Young Turks thought this was hilarious. Okay. And he thought it was funny. What did they find funny? They found funny this man's behavior. Okay, and they kept saying over and over again in different ways that Satan is not real. And then one of the gentlemen on there, well, all of them basically were like, in a way, shaming um, this this gentleman who defaced, um, like I said, defaced um, this particular uh, portion of the display that they had, or as they put it, altar some people on refer to it as an altar which it had candles it had mirrors it had uh all types of things of course it had the baphomet it's quite they showed a picture of it on this particular um on this particular article um from ap news um it's basically like i said in the article like i said it is still up but a portion of it 
was um, destroyed or defaced by this gentleman. Um, But these three men were like full on laughing and basically um, as if this man was a joke um, and they thought it was hilarious. One guy, um, tears were running down his face because they were shaming him and saying that over and over and over and over again in different ways that Satan, the devil, was not real. Um, it's like a mythical creature. One of them says it's a mythical creature. It's this, it's that. And I just find it so interesting that that's the number one thing that people will say when people do things or make any kind of reference to, um, to, the, to the devil. They'll say he doesn't exist, but yet and still you have a whole, um, a whole, as they said, religion, okay, or people who are religious sects or um, sanctions um, that refer to Satan. So you have, so to me, personally, just my personal opinion, if you're calling it um, the Church of Satan, If you're calling it the satanic temple, but yet, and you have all this imagery that is identified with that entity, with that deity, with that, that God, Lord, Lord, let's say, say lowercase G, not to be mixed up with the creator, the almighty, um, as Satan, because it's called a satanic temple. Okay. You don't believe in that entity you do not believe in Satan so why is the name that and when someone addresses um, that fact that there is dark forces and it is directly from Satan and you are setting up these places and, and it's very strategic and it goes beyond just you exercising your rights um, to worship who you want to worship or what in this case you want to worship they uh, clown you okay and they laugh and I mean I, I watched almost to the end of the particular segment that they had on YouTube for their channel and they laughed and they laughed and they laughed and they kept saying it but what I found particularly interesting was the, another part that I found interesting is that the young man that was sitting in the middle he said that um, you did you think that you won but you didn't win this is not the real Satan okay so now now to me I don't know if this makes sense to whoever's listening you spent the majority of the segment saying, okay along with the people or the the front man for the satanic temple that they do not believe in satan satan is not real okay that this is just a concept a construct it's it's about this and it's about that but then almost toward the end of the segment he looks in the camera he's still smiling he didn't get serious but he said you know what he said? He looked directly at the camera. It's fleeting, but I caught it. You did not win. This is not the real Satan. So if Satan doesn't exist, what are you talking about? This is what, what got me. And it's like it's scripted. Every time someone talks about this, and it comes out quite often, this is what they go to okay it's just this it's no more than that it's not really about this it's really about that and it really doesn't exist so why are we doing so much if it doesn't exist and why are we uh defending it so what you're meaning to tell me is that you have grown people who have gone to all this trouble to celebrate and to worship something that does not exist does that make sense i mean a lot of people do things there's a lot of things in this world that just doesn't make sense to me but i mean 
for the sake of argument. And I can't help but every time they say it, and they say it quite often, something comes to mind and I looked it up. And it's not so much, it's a quote, okay? And it's a common quote. And it is this. Let me see, can I find it? Hold on, let me find it. It's the quote that says, The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he didn't exist. Now, I forgot who exactly said this, but this comes to mind every single time. I hear this in my mind every single time certain things come up. And that, to me, this very blatant, the things. And it, it to me, for me personally, it proves again and again that he, in fact, Satan does exist. And then when that, and they're very blatant. Sometimes it's subtle, but as we get closer and closer to the end of this system, as it, as it, as it is now, um, and we're being propelled closer and closer to that time, This is what they will do. They will say over and over again, and then they will shame you and laugh at you and make it seem like you're overreacting. Anyone, it it will require, of course, and I know, I know, I have to remind myself over and over again due to my imperfection, is that he blinds the minds of people. And there are people that actually are not blind. There are people that actually know exactly what is going on, but of course they are working with the devil to continue this um, deception all the way up, I guess, all the way up into the ninth hour, okay, up into the very moment of, of the big showdown. But they laughed at this man. They laughed, they laughed, they laughed. But when that guy looked into the camera as he was laughing and having this, what would seem like, you know, cheerful and jovial banter about how ridiculous this man is and, you know, how silly he is, you know, he's not real. And um, that I guess I didn't see what it actually looked like intact. I guess it was maybe the head of the Baphomet, I'm guessing, was gold. Uh, and one, it's a younger guy on there um, that um, said it was like a disco, a disco head or something. It was gold and it was mirrored or whatever. You just see something laying on the floor and he, whatever he hit it with, he really, he really whacked it. That, um, that he didn't win. Okay, that this wasn't the real Satan, and then it went past it. I often have that when I listen to people and look at people on the news and other things like that. They say things that I wonder to myself about other people when they're looking at it. Are they catching what these people are saying? And sometimes it's so blatantly a lie that it's just amazing. It's just amazing to me that they're doing it, but it, I realize that it's just a part of of the whole the whole thing that's going on here the whole deception but um to me it proved okay it didn't dis- disprove because why would they go so hard to disprove it and when he said that he looked into the camera and said you didn't win this isn't the real satan and I don't really think that that obviously I don't want to think for this man because I don't know this particular uh, individual. I'm sure he knows that's not the real Satan. Um, I think that maybe he got a little caught up in some stuff and he, he really shouldn't have did that. But I, I do get where he's coming from. And another thing that kind of gets me with people when they start getting into um, this is just my personal feelings When they start getting into leftists and rightists and Democrats and Republicans and all of these things, I really feel personally, maybe it's because I've never was into politics, okay? Um, Who cares? (laughs) I really don't care. We have bigger fish to fry other than if someone is a rightist or leftist, if they're a republic, Republican or a Democrat. There's some really, really, really deep, dark, sinister. There's some really some things going on here. And I and I do realize that 
that's what the devil wants you to do to get caught up in all of this republican democrat leftist rightist all this stuff that that has actually been manufactured and made up by man with the devil's help just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms such as TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, check us out on our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place. You can leave messages and give feedback and more. Thank you.